Okay, so I've had quite a few people ask me how to create different menus on Squarespace. So this is, for example, if you want to show like English, French, and Spanish, or different languages on your website and have different pages for each menu, this is how you do it. So, for example, I set it up for three different locations. This is a different client's website. I didn't need this functionality for my own, so I'm showing you on his. So if I go to Bellevue and Shoreline, so Bellevue would look like this, Shoreline would look like this. So you see how the navigation is missing some, and also each page is actually different. The, right now I'm on the home page, and this is different than the home page for this location. Right? So on the actual back end, what you would see is Bellevue navigation, Shoreline, Seattle, and not linked, and main, which is automatically built in. So I'll show you how to do this. It is a little bit more complicated, um, but let's get going, okay? So first thing, we go to settings, and then we go to advanced, developer mode, and turn this on. So as soon as you turn this on, you'll see all of uh, your connectivity details appear here. The good thing about developer mode is that it stops your template from being updated, so it won't break your code in the future, so it'll always stay up, okay? So in order to actually sign in to your website, so FTP in, I use WinSCP. You can use whichever one you want. Um, so let's go ahead and so when SCP is actually free to use so feel free to Google for it and download it I'll also include a, a link so this is the actual information so you just enter it in here make sure this is set to SFTP because it is SFTP so I had it entered already so it's right here so let's go ahead and sign in you'll notice that sometimes it'll sign you out and it'll say do you want to reconnect just make sure you hit reconnect um, so that your saves actually take place because there are some bugs where it just kicks you out randomly sometimes so let me actually go back to this before I continue. Okay, perfect. So when you're actually here, there's two uh, two things we have to change, two files, the template file and the header file, okay? So the template file is what shows on the back end, so for you, not for the people who visit your website, but for you so that you can actually create the menu. So when you first sign in, you'll see what you will see is actually this. Um, actually, just one sec. You'll see this, okay? So you want to look for that main navigation, main nav, and just right here after the curly bracket and before the square bracket, you want to copy everything up until here. So everything within the little curve, curve uh, bracket. And you want to copy and paste it as many times as you need. Okay? So I needed three locations. So I made three. I gave them titles. And also I gave them a name. Make sure the name doesn't have spaces because it is going to be used as the ID. Okay? So once you have that done, I'll keep it open so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then we'll go to the header region. So there's three places we need to make changes here, okay? So leave that open. So here I have the three menus. The main navigation, I only have my cover page where people actually pick what language or what location. So I don't want to show that menu anywhere, okay? I only want to show these three menus. That's why here I'm only using those three. So when you first sign in, what you'll see here is Squarespace Navigation, Main Nav. So what you want to do is copy that, and paste it three times, and change the navigation ID. That's the only thing you have to change into whatever name you gave it. So Bellevue, Shoreline, and Seattle. Okay? Then you scroll down, and then you have an, another another one here. So again, the first one here, it'll say um, main navigation. You want to copy this. You make sure you copy this, and don't just paste what you copied up here, because now the template is main navigation, not mobile navigation. So again, you copy, paste, and give it the, um, the navigation ID to match the name over here. Then you scroll down, and there's one more just right here. So we're going to, again, copy, paste, and change the navigation ID to whatever you want to actually display. So the thing about this is when you do this, it'll actually show you all three menus on every page. So I'll show you how we can limit that so it only shows the menu that you want it to show on each page. So once you've done that, you just hit save, and then you'll have a box come down here telling you that it's saving. And once it's done, you can close this, terminate the session, and then refresh this page, and then you'll see all three menus. To put pages in there, all you do is click it and drag it inside. Okay, one thing you should know is that, again, no two pages can have the same URL. So this is home three, this is home two, and this is home one. So home one. So there's no way to have it as home, home, home. But, I mean, that's a small, small thing to give up. You can even make the navigation maybe Bellevue home, right? So it looks a little bit, uh, little, little bit better on search engines, but that is up to you. So after that, what we do, let me show you how it will look for you, okay? So right away, you'll see that all three menus are showing up. And if you actually go to the mobile view, you'll see that all three menus are showing up. This is pretty cool as well. You can kind of switch between the views up here. So to hide it, what we have to do, let me actually put it in so that the live website isn't affected. 
So if you go to advanced, what I'm doing is I'm going to main nav and the fourth child. So let me show you why I'm doing that. So you'll see that there's main nav, main nav, and main nav. There's three of them. So that's Bellevue, Shoreline, and Seattle. Okay, the main nav isn't showing up because I didn't include that in my actual template file. Sorry, the header file. Um, I only had those three because remember, I didn't want to show this on any page. So next, what we have to do is we have to, on this page, since this is the, the first actual you know menu, I'm going to hide the second and the third one, right? But the second, so for example, the shoreline is my second real menu, but in my list of menus, there's one, two, three. So this is actually my third menu. This is my fourth menu, okay? So what I have to do, so this is my second menu. So since I'm not showing the first one, I don't need to hide the first one. So what you do is you cover it in style tags. So it's only specific to this page. Anything you put in here is only specific to this page. So for example, main nav fourth child will hide the, the Seattle one, the very fourth one. Okay. So next we have to hide the third one. So shoreline. And then we do the same thing for mobile. Okay. So mobile navigation is called mobile navigation. To find that, all I had to do was go here, right click here, inspect. And it is mobile navigation. Okay, mobile navigation. So it's showing uh, twice here. So let's see what I did. Actually, it might just need to be refreshed. Let me take a quick look. So third and fourth, display none. That is good. And it's still showing. Let me just quickly check something here. So it's showing me which one is this. So you see how this one has home highlighted. So I'm on the home page. So this is the Bellevue menu. So let's click home here and see where it takes me. So it takes me to shoreline. Okay. So shoreline is not being hidden for some reason. So let's see if it's the same for this page. So it's happening for all pages. So I'll have to take a quick look at why that is. Let's take a quick look. Mobile navigation and child. So let me right click here, inspect. So it shouldn't be showing that second one. Let's see, this one is set to not display none. This is display none, this is the third one. The second one, so the first one was the right one. Yeah, so the first one is right. The second one should be hidden, but it's not. So this is third, so I should have the second one hidden. Oh, right, okay, so on mobile, it's a little bit different. The main navigation uh, automatically doesn't show because we didn't put that in our template file. So what we have to do is actually where here is four and three, this would actually be three and uh, two. So two and three, it's one behind. So go ahead and save that. And let's make sure that's right. Yeah, that's right. So now you want to copy that and paste it in all the pages. Okay, there we go. So paste it here. And then you'll see that that menu disappears. So now there's only two there. Uh, sorry, one there. Now there's two here. So I'm going to paste it here again. Now, I won't go through all the pages, but so you paste it in and there we go. So it's back to uh, one menu and one menu here and it's highlighted. So that means it is the right menu. So if I'm on FAQ on Bellevue, on the Bellevue page, it should be highlighted the FAQ. Okay. So um, that's what you would do. And then I actually set up a main navigate, uh, the main page, the cover page. This you absolutely need. Um, so click here, or you can have something in your menu that says English and it leads to the home page of the English website. So here's what it would look like. Okay, so that's how you'd get that done, guys.